Lucid earnings are out, and that one is moving. Phil LeBeau's got the numbers. Phil? John, it's moving lower because this is another quarterly loss for Lucid, a loss of 28 cents a share. It's thinly covered, so the estimates are all over the place. Revenue, however, is below what expectations were on Wall Street. Revenue coming in, $258 million. The street was expecting just over $303 million. The numbers within the numbers everybody is focused on, production and deliveries in the fourth quarter. And when it comes to production, yeah, it's an improvement over the third quarter, but that's they're still you know, trying to get these production challenges corrected. Just under 3,500 produced, delivering just under 2,000. For all of 2022, they delivered just under 4,400 vehicles. By the way, their guidance for production last year was between six and 7,000 vehicles. They did hit that target, and for this year, they're expecting to deliver or build between 10,000 and 14,000. I talked to Peter Rawlinson, CEO of Lucid, just a few minutes ago. He believes they have the production cadence in place to succeed, and he also believes that the key now is to increase sales. He'll be leading that effort, a renewed effort to boost sales. Do they have enough cash on hand? They've got $4.9 billion. And, John, they say that is enough to get them at least into the first quarter of 2024. Back to you. So since we're sticking with semiconductors this afternoon, has that been part of the production situation, part of the issue there for, for Lucid? Part Fox? of it, part of it, but it goes much broader than that. It, it comes to actually standing up the entire production line. So it goes well beyond just the, the chip issues more.